Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about file systems. So, what is a file system in Windows? File system is a method used by the operating system to organize and store files on a storage device. So, there are different types of file systems, but in modern days, the most commonly used file systems are CAT32 and NTFS. These file systems provide a structure for naming, storing, and retrieving files, as well as managing the physical space on a storage device. Now we know what these file systems do. Let's see the difference between these two file systems. So the basic difference is the maximum characters that you can have in a file name with CAT32 is 83, and with NTFS, a file name could have characters up to 256 on it. And a single file size with CAT32 could be 4 GB. Anything, any file that is over and above 4 GB will not be supported in a CAT32 drive. But when it comes to NTFS, you can have a single file size up to 16 TB. And CAT32 does not support encryption. NTFS uses EFS, which is encrypted file system to encrypt your data. CAT32 does not allow compression and NTFS allows file compression. And conversion is allowed in CAT32, but in NTFS, it is not allowed. Now, we have seen the difference between these two. Now, how to change a file system? So usually, choose the drive that you want to change the format. Right-click on that drive and choose Format option. So once you choose Format option, the below display displays. And if you can see in this uh, option, you see NTFS is selected as default. So you, when you click when you click on this arrow, there is a drop-down which gives you an option to change it to FAT32. And you can name your label. And when you click on Start, the format is done within seconds. And there is a drawback in this particular way when you change the file system. Anything that is stored in that particular drive will get deleted and we won't be able to restore it if we don't have any backups. So, is there a way to change the file system without losing the data? Yes, there is a way. For that, you'll have to run command prompt as an administrator and type in the command to change the a file system of a particular drive, enter the current volume label, and that's it. The conversion is completed and the data is still intact. So let's see an let's see it with an example. So here I'm running my command prompt as an administrator and I've entered the command disk part to check what are the disks that are what are the drives that are uh, partitioned on my computer already. And you can see there are various drives that are already available and the highlighted F drive as FAT32 as its file system. So now let's try to change the uh, format of F drive from FAT32 to NTFL. To do that, I'm going to exit from this disk partition table and I'm going to log in as an administrator into the command prompt again. And once I do it, I'm entering the command convert space the drive letter, the drive which I wanted to change the file format with a colon, space, of slash, f, s, colon, ntfs, the format that I wanted to change the file system to. And then once I give this command, the command prompt will prompt me to enter the current volume label for drive f. I did not have any volume label for my f drive. And the current volume label was new volume. Once I enter new volume, you can see at the end, I got a confirmation that conversion is complete. So let's see by going back to the disk management table. And now you can see the highlighted file, highlighted folder. Uh, F drive is being updated from FAT32 to NTFS. All right, now we have changed the file format for F drive from uh, FAT32 to NTFS. So is there a way to change from NTFS to FAT32 without losing a data? So can we do it? To answer it, you'll have to answer my next question. Can sun rise in the West? So answer for both the questions are the same. 
Thank you for listening to this video. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.